up, you guys? Today I am going to show you my top five nude lip combinations by MAC Cosmetics. And I'm gonna focus on nude colors because I think everyone likes a good nude lipstick combo. Of course, it's going to be nude combinations for my skin tone. Um, if you're looking for a nude color, please search for somebody with a similar skin tone. That's why I think I'm gonna call this like my top five, I don't know, MAC lipstick and lip liner combination for brown skin type. So if you wanna see what my favorites are, then please keep on watching. Okay, so let me first start by saying that I know that a lot of people when they are searching for a lip liner, they wanna have like the same color as the lipstick. I don't like that. I, ooh, I dropped it. I don't like that at all. I want my lip liner to be a different color. I do apply lip liner all over my lips and that's how I think I get the most prettiest color. So keep that in mind. The first combination is Morning Coffee Lip Liner by MAC, which is my all-time favorite. I love the prolonged my lip liners more than the normal one because it stays on better. It's a lot creamier. It's, a, it's just bomb in this shade. I love it. Then I'm going to apply Fever Glam to lipstick. Here's the lip liner and then the lipstick. I love this combination so much. I just don't like it with the eyeshadow I'm wearing, but it's kind of a nude pinkish shade. So morning coffee and Fever Glam to lipstick. Next we have another pro longwear lip liner. This one is a nice and spicy, which is more of a softer brown shade and amplified lipstick half and half. So this is a nice and spicy lip liner. Um, if you compare it to the morning coffee, you can definitely tell that this is a lot more brown and you know warm tone love this so much. Then half and half lipstick. Please don't mind the application, it's the color and combination, okay? And I love the fact that half and half is an amplified. Of course, it doesn't stay on that long if you compare it to a matte one, but it's like very creamy and extremely pigmented. But sometimes when it's hot outside, it can melt in your purse. So be careful when buying an amplified lipstick. Again, a nice and spicy pro long wear lip liner with half and half amplified lipstick. Then we have a darker lip liner called Hover or Hoover. I don't even know how to pronounce this one but it's a pretty dark lip liner, darker than the previous one, and I'm gonna combine it with a pretty light lipstick. This is Honey Love, and it's a matte lipstick. And because I wanna keep it pretty light with this combination, I'm not gonna fill my entire lip with lip liner, just the edges. So Hover Lip Liner with Honey Love Matte Lipstick. Next combination, again, a Pro Longwear Lip Liner. This is Etc. and is more of a cooler brown tone. And I'm gonna apply it with Peach Stock Lipstick, which is a pretty peachy nude. It's a satin, so not completely matte, but it's not like glossy lipstick. liner etc and yes I know this combination is pretty light I like it this light but what I always do is apply some clear lip gloss on top of it so I'm gonna do that but this is etc lip liner with peach stock lipstick 
and I know a lot of you will be like, oh, that is too light. Well, I like it this way. I don't know if I like it with the eyes, but I do like it when I have like just wing eyeliner or a very dark, smoky eye. Hair back. I love it. I love it. I like it. Don't hate me. So, et cetera, lip liner, peach stock lipstick, and then the MAC Clear Lip Gloss. The one that comes in a tube. The best. <music> And last but not least, this tiny, tiny spice lip liner. I really got to get me a new one. Look at that. And a naturally transformed lipstick. This is a matte lipstick. Um, I know that naturally transformed is kind of a weird color. No one ever buys it. I don't know why, because it kind of looks like baby poop. I am aware of that, but on the lips, it looks pretty cool. I like it with spice lip liner, and I also like it with plum lip liner, but for now we're gonna do spice. Spice lip liner kind of looks like nice and spicy, but it has a little bit more of a red undertone. See, kind of baby poopish. Alrighty, so spice, a lip liner, and a naturally transformed matte lipstick. By the way, my lips are burning right now because, you know, wiping, applying, wiping, applying. And nine out of ten times I apply a lip gloss on top of it and I'm using Myth Lip Gloss just a little bit. Okay guys, so that was the video. It was pretty quick, but I wanted to show you my favorite combinations, my favorite nude MAC combinations. This one is, I think, my favorite, and Morning Coffee and Fever Glam 2, when I want to go towards a more pinky nude. Um, let me know your favorite combinations. I'm always in for a new nude combination. New, new, new nude combination. New. I'm done. You know what I mean. So comment down below, and uh, also let me know if you tried one of my combinations. Well, it's not mine, but my favorites. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.